Sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? Ah, what do I care? It's mine. The first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes. <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine. Now hold on. <laughs> <laughs> One more, perhaps? At least. <laughs> Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. Hope you on your quest, Sparrow. But first, I must attend to my young sibling. I'm afraid he may have gotten himself into trouble during my absence. Hey, bro, it'd be really cool if you smashed that boulder. A swift smack should do the trick. <laughs> Your spin move to deflect the snowball into the gong. I bet we can make the roof cave in. We can cause an avalanche with this one.
a little something for your rock collection. Spyro, we urgently need your help. The evil cat wizards of Felinia have stormed our castle and captured our princess. If we don't stop them right away, they'll force her to marry Prince Azrael. will be forced to marry that loser, Prince Asriel. Today is your lucky day. The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. You have chosen wisely, Spyro. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. Oh, and uh, best of luck rescuing that princess, or whatever it is you're up to.
According to legends, there's a golden goose at the top of this here mountain. I want to be the first person to the top so I can grab it. I just bought some Insta Sprout Ultra Super Gross seeds from a bear with a bag of gems. He said they were magic, but I can't make them do anything. You can have a couple if you like. Just bought some... egg on the way up here. I think it was laid by a golden goose. We'll have to keep going. We're almost to the top. You've been doing great so far. Why don't you take two more seats? Legendary Golden Goose! You can have another one of its eggs as a souvenir!
Azrael ran into the castle. We have to stop him before he reaches the princess. <laughs> Isn't Prince Asriel just the dreamiest? The other fairies and wizards won't let us get married, so we're going to elope. By the way, Asriel says you can have this egg if you don't tell anyone where we went. Stay in chat, but I'm late for a uh, <clears throat> an engagement with a fairy friend of mine. Uh, uh, just a friend, you understand. Strictly platonic relationship. Certainly not a violation of military protocol whatsoever. Uh, what? What are you giving me that look for? Where have you been, James? We were supposed to meet in the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. 
I guess it doesn't matter, though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We'll just have to call off our date. That is, unless you want to battle the witches. Rocket launchers aren't just for show after all. Well, I just hope your accuracy is better than your punctuality, because there are still a lot more witches in the temple. There are still a few witches left, though, and this time they mean business. They even turn the floor into deadly blue ooze. Oh, do be careful, okay? for nothing. Now we have the temple all to ourselves. But first, I have a present for you. Hello. I thought you might be hungry. Thanks. Did you bring any chips? I'm sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs. You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. The dragons used to live here? Yes, this was their original home. But a long, long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. She didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back, if you let me go. I'm sorry. I can't. to Frozen Altars, Spyro. On behalf of the Ice Fairies, I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world.
Say, Spyro, you're a sports fan, aren't you? As you probably know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great sport of cat hockey. Today's match is sold out, of course, but I just happen to have a spare ticket that I'll sell you for, say, a teensy weensy markup. Head on in, Spyro. It should be a thrilling match. In fact, <laughs> I've even placed a little wager on the Rhinoch team. Let's just hope the local team doesn't have any last-minute accidents. I challenged a Rhinoch to a traditional game of cat hockey, but I think I sprained my flipper while training. Would you mind taking my place? Great. Freeze the cats and push them into my goal to score. I think you deserve to keep the Champion's Cup. Thanks for helping out, Spyro. Why don't you take this? The Rhinox were trying to fry it with a laser, but you stopped them just in time. word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with he Let them Yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back or you kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen. I knew you'd do it. Go and show him not to mess with us. Remember to block his high punches and hit him low when he tries to block. It'll be a three-round match, and when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. Oh. 
Spyro, my friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the fields. Those rotten Rhinox keep knocking them down. Can you save the panda workers? Please hop aboard. Make sure to toast the Rhinox, but not my friends. day for a bit of a walk. I was just heading to the top of my favourite hill. Okay. <laughs> 
it! I've had enough! I'm going to create a monster to end all monsters! <laughs> and I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons, even the little hatchlings! Yes, yes! It will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them! Oh, yes! Smear them and smush them and crack them and crease them! Let me out of here, you! But, uh, won't that kill them? <laughs> it doesn't matter! As long as I can still collect their wings! What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl! I need them for a spell so I can live forever! Uh, wait a second. A, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? <laughs> Ooh, if I had my blaster, you'd be singing a different tune! You know what I mean? You said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them! I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. You're terrible. I can't believe I ever listened to you. Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Well, huh? <laughs> oh, this is gonna get real ugly. <laughs> This might be our last stand, Spyro. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I will endeavor to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. 